Do you know what to do in case of a chemical attack? It's a grim subject, no doubt, but knowledge is power. And in these situations, it could be the difference between life and death. So buckle up and pay close attention as we delve into the crucial steps to take during each type of attack. Firstly, let's discuss a chemical attack. Chemical attacks involve the use of toxic substances to harm or kill. If you find yourself in the midst of one, take these steps. One, protect your skin and eyes. Cover as much of your skin as possible with clothing and wear goggles if available. Remember, some chemicals can burn or irritate the skin and eyes. Two, if indoors, shut all doors and windows. Turn off all fans, heating and air conditioning systems to minimize the inflow of the chemical. Three, if outdoors, move uphill and upwind as chemicals often sink and spread with the wind. Next, we move on to biological attacks. These involve the use of bacteria, viruses, or other germs to cause illness or death. Here's what to do. One, stay calm and avoid contact with sick people. Biological attacks often resemble common illnesses at first. Two, wash your hands frequently with soap and warm water to reduce the risk of infection. Three, listen to local authorities for updates on vaccinations or treatments. Finally, we come to nuclear attacks. These involve the use of nuclear weapons to cause massive destruction and radiation. Here's your action plan. One, if you see a bright flash of light, don't look towards it as it can cause temporary blindness. Two, take cover immediately, ideally in a basement or middle of a building, to protect yourself from the initial blast and subsequent fallout. Three, once safe, remove any contaminated clothing and wash your body thoroughly to reduce exposure to radioactive material. In summary, for chemical attacks, protect your skin and eyes, minimize the inflow of the chemical, and move uphill and upwind if outdoors. For biological attacks, avoid contact with sick people, wash your hands frequently, and listen to local authorities. In the case of nuclear attacks, avoid looking at the flash of light, take immediate cover, and wash off any radioactive material as soon as possible. Remember, these are worst case scenarios, but being prepared could save your life. Stay safe, stay informed, and remember, knowledge is your best defense.